Hey, what is up? My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at this miraculous little device, the uh, Cinegears Rattlesnake Wireless Follow Focus. Focus is an absolutely huge issue on set. If your imagery isn't sharp, you're not going to be able to use it. And even though the C200 and other high-end digital cinema cameras now have autofocus, there are still many, many times, I would say the majority of times where it's more efficient to use handheld focus than it is automatic focus. It gives you more control. It gives you the ability to rack focus between different objects. It just gives you a lot more options. To say nothing of the fact that most lenses for cinema cameras, especially those in the PL mount, don't have autofocus at all and you need to control them manually. The way follow focus works is uh, there is one unit that attaches to the 15 millimeter rails of your camera. There's another unit that you get to hold in your hand like this with a little dial and you're able to um, move the dial and uh, move the focus point of the camera around. The Rattlesnake is unique because it has the added feature of vibration. You can set focus points or you can set um, different uh, stops in the, uh, on the display and the controller will vibrate at three different speeds, letting you know when you're getting close to that point and when you've reached it. It also has the ability to set up to four different pre uh, preset focus points, which I've done here. So I can click between uh, the C stand in the foreground, me in the midground, and the background. Um, all with the click of the button. I can also set the speed and I can also set the speed at which the camera goes between these points. So either really slow or really, really fast. There are a couple of mid-range follow focuses on the market, um, but nothing with the build quality and especially nothing with the screen uh, like the Rattlesnake has. Gives you, you know, a heap more options. The first thing you want to do once you've connected this to your lens and you can either use the, uh, if your lens has um, a focus ring on it, you connect, you snap it into that. If it doesn't, it comes with one or you can buy separate ones for PL mount or um, non cine style lenses. And all you do is hold down set and A and the unit on the camera will calibrate itself, meaning it will spin the lens in both directions, find out where the lock points are and then calibrate automatically calibrate the um, controller to those points. I mean, it has all kinds of crazy things that I haven't really got into yet. It has a record mode so that you can record a focus pull and then play it back. It has a little light on the focus ring itself so that you can mark points. This can come off or go on. The range, uh, though I haven't tested it, is a couple of hundred feet and you could potentially be pulling focus in uh, on a car rig from another car, um, even if uh, another car gets in front of you. It comes with this awesome lanyard have it around your neck as you're, uh, as you're using it on set. You don't have to find somewhere to put it down. It also has different mount points, quarter 20 and three eighths on the side here. Uh, you can see I have my 85 mil Rokinon on here or stopped all the way down to 1.5. So the, even though the, um, the focus is sort of razor thin, I'm able to look at my monitor here um, and get, you know, even if I lean back or lean forwards, I'm pretty, uh, pretty much able to follow my own movement um, once I'm looking at the monitor uh, uh, with the follow focus. And this has been something that's, um, especially for people who record themselves like I do or people who work remotely, it's super frustrating to sit in front of the camera, have you, not have your focus, uh, get up, adjust it, sit down, realize that it's still not the right and be able to um, sit where you're gonna sit and dial it in exactly even on a really shallow depth of field is a um, huge asset. Really, really great. Who is this unit for? You know, obviously not everyone who's making YouTube videos needs their own remote follow focus. But if you have an independent production company, um, if you're doing uh, action filmmaking where you can't be next to the camera or you're gonna have the camera on a boom on a remote, um, you're gonna have it uh, any time that you can't get next to the camera or that you wanna give the cameraman more freedom to be able to move and uh, uh, operate the camera without the added effort of someone next to him pulling focus. But it also works for the style of filmmaking where you want to sort of use the camera and the focus to tell the story. So maybe you cut from a person in front and then you want to do a slow pull to the person behind. 
you know, this is something that uh, a follow focus is ideal for, um, and you can use the camera and the depth of field to tell part of your story. That is the uh, Cinegears Rattlesnake Follow Focus. Awesome little unit, um, really affordably priced, really well built, super easy to use, and uh, really great asset to anyone who's thinking of getting much more serious about their um, filmmaking, uh, moving away from the EF mount lenses into PL anamorphic style filmmaking. I'm getting a whole bunch more gear, so I've got lots of stuff to review. Um, Leave your questions in the comments. Uh, there's a link below so you can check out. Uh, there's also an instruction video that I'll link to that sort of shows you the more intricacies of the unit and how it works. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.